Right guys, following my last video when we spoke about the in-depth nature of ChatGPT and OpenAI as a organization and its disruptive technology that's kind of on the market now, we can further explore how to make it more fun and usable within your own Discord server. Now, if we check YouTube to see what's on offer on this information, you'd be quite surprised that not much people are even helping in that sense to get you up and running with this so if we type in discord bot chat gbt we can see we got a few options the most popular right now is this one by adrian it seems so we can see he's using the node modules and implementation of how to implement this bot however there seems to be a bundle or starter kit of how to do this with $50 cost price tag attached to it, which quite frankly, I'm not going to pay for at all. So if we head over to the greatest resource for any coder, it's GitHub. Now we have a repo available to us by 06992. Now there's only one repo here and it's a integrate a chat GPT into your own discord server now it's written in python as opposed to node and quite frankly i'm familiar and a fan of python as it is so it works for me both ways you can see here there's 114 forks from this which makes it quite popular and there's 23 releases to date so if you see the full change log um he's definitely been working on this and been doing some amazing work to get this up and running so if we copy this so if we go to code and zip it up and save that. Right now, if we look at the structure of it, we have the bot pie, we have a log pie and a response pie. These are the core files. More importantly, we have this config JSON file. Now here we can see it needs three parameters from us to actually interact and open the bot within Discord. First, we have an open AI key that we require. That's to interact with open AI and ChatGPT itself. Next, we have the Discord channel ID, if we're having this channel specific within the server. And next, we have the Discord bot token itself. So we're going to have to create a bot on Discord. So let's get started. All right, the first site we want to go to is discord.com developers applications. And I'm going to leave all the links to the sites in the description below. So here we can create a bot essentially. So what we want to do is start a new application. We call this Ace gbt keep it nice and simple all right now we have the boilerplate of the bot we can give it a logo as well we'll give it the ghost in a shell dog anyone who watched my previous video know where that came from now then we can go to bot now and add a bot yes we want to add the bot all right so now this is added as a bot so next, what we can do is scroll down and go to message content intent. This will allow the bot to receive messages. So save that. That's done. Boom. Next, we want this token. Remember, I referred to this token earlier. We want to get this token. So we reset the token. This will generate a new token for us. Now we have this token. We copy that and we'll save that for later use. Now remember this is a private token that controls access to this bot so you don't want to give this out to anyone at all. Next we have the auth2 and we can go to general and then under default authorization link we can give a custom URL. So within this URL we want to type https colon slash slash discord dot com slash api slash auth Two, which is what we're using here and then we can say authorize question mark and then we want the permissions and then we sell equal to eight and then an ambassand and then scope 
equals bot and client ID equals the client information ID here. So we just copy that value up here and bam, paste that in. Save the changes here. Next, what we want to do is take that whole URL, now it's saved, and paste that into our URL bar. Now, this is familiar to anyone who runs a Discord server, but essentially this is inviting the bot you created to your own server. So that's what we want to do. And the Ace has a Hacking Time server. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe to Hacking Time. And we authorize that. Confirm that we are not a bot, funny enough. And that has been authorized. Lovely jubbly. So now the bot is within our Discord server. Right, now as you can see, the bot has made it to our Discord and here it is live in hacking time. Amazing stuff. So 50% of the task is done. We have the bot active. Now, as you can see from our members list on the side here, the bot is currently offline. So the next phase is to make this online. Now, what we want to do within this config.json file, originally this was called config dev json just remove the dev section i think it's here within the readme he says something along those lines to configure this json file here you go under config dev json just remove it and change it to config dot json so once we do that we can begin putting the codes that we've obtained already so the first code we need is that discord bot code that we first generated we can paste that right in here bam the next site we need to visit is OpenAI to obtain our OpenAI key. So we can generate a new key. It's the same principles as before. It's a unique key to your account. So don't give it out to anyone. We'll generate that key. Now we can go back into Visual Code and paste the key in for OpenAI. Right, we'll save that. Next, what we need to do is, based on the readme instructions, definitely go through them, is run this main.py. Now then, what we wanna ensure is that we're using the correct interpreter. So if you hold Control, Shift and P, and we can type interpreter, here we have a Python interpreter selected. So make sure you're using the latest version of Python and the exe is bound to this interpreter so we can go to that and that is not the version i want i want to find a newer version of python which i have saved so if you download the latest version of python save it to a directory you're familiar with and bound the interpreter to the exe to that file now that's done we have all the chess pieces in place. Now, if we head over to the readme and we can see here that we need to run the Python free main.py in order to run the bot. Now, for me, I did come across an error when I did this. So if we run this, you will see the error I'm talking about. Now it says here, Python was not found. Now that's interesting because if I type Python and then we go to capital V for version um, we could just type Python version we are running version 310.2 so the issue is not that we don't have Python this doesn't understand the command so what I did to make this run was just remove the free hit it as Python itself and that ran the command so if you type that Now you can see here, it's logging into Discord client. It goes through the gateway. It started the prompt. And now you can see here, the bot itself is running. And now it's live within Discord. And we can confirm that by heading her back over to Hacking Time. And voila, the Discord bot is live. Now if I put this side by side to the terminal we have in this window, 
if I cancel this, we can see the bot went offline. If I rerun it, we can see the bot comes back online, as you can see here. So the bot is running from within Visual Code. Now, if you want this running all the time, you can head over to Linode. They're not sponsoring the channel at all, but if you head over to Network Chuck, a great source of information, he also has discount codes for Linode for about $100. So watch one of his videos. I'm sure he mentions it somewhere. Grab a discount code from him. Uh, from there, you can get a free bot running on your Discord server. So now we have the bot. Small caveat for me to mention at this point is that like all things with OpenAI, eventually it's going to be paywalled and billed. So at the moment, if we go to usage, you can see here that they give you $18 for free. And that's the credit they give you. I'm not sure if that's a recurring credit because it says here it expires in April the 1st. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just one month free. So you can use it when you generate them API keys for about a month. And then after that $18 has elapsed, you have to start paying for it. And they've got a whole billing system here themselves. So in terms of usage, if you let everyone have the command tool within your Discord, that's probably going to be eaten up pretty quick. Billing and pricing. It says here there's different language models they use. They use the ADA, which is apparently the fastest language model they have. So if you want it really fast, you can use that. The most powerful one is the one we're currently using, this DaVinci. Then we have Curry and Babbage, these funky names they're using. So multiple models, each of the different capabilities and price points. Ada is the fastest model, while DaVinci is the most powerful. And they give you these tokens. And then here's the costs of these tokens. They're in the fractions at the minute, with DaVinci being the most expensive here. But that was the only caveat I could see about using this within Discord or as an API itself. Right, finally, we can test out the bot it's working. So if we start up the bot and he's back online, we can go to slash and we can chat with the bot. What is your name? Question mark. And it says his name's Tyler. And there we go, just slash and chat and then go away with it. Um, create a basic HTML website for my company that sell fish. There we go. Working its magic. There we have it. Now we have our basic fish company. So you're probably already familiar with ChatGPT and what it can do. Here's a nice little quirk that will give some fun to your Discord subscribers or members and give you a bit more usability for that $18 credit until they've rinsed it dry. Remember to like and subscribe. Stay safe in the cyberspace. This was the Ace. Peace out.